Okay, we are golden now. So this is a quick video about the Roadcaster Pro multi-track and, you know, connecting it to a specific DAW. Now, as you can see from this page here, if you just, let's just go back here. If you just scroll down, Rode does provide different guides as to how to connect the Rodecaster Pro to any of these specific DAWs here. You have Adobe Edition, you have uh, Apple GarageBand, Logic Pro X, Pro Tools, and Reaper. But I don't use any of those. Sometimes I use um, Audition and GarageBand. But I actually use Persona Studio One. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your I.O. to work with the Rod, uh, excuse me, the uh, Rode, Rodecaster Pro. So let's get to it. So the other thing is, if you look here at the um, guide for GarageBand, it's a pretty straightforward setup. Now, remember, the Rodecaster Pro has 14 tracks. Five are stereo and four are mono. As you can see here, they have the complete setup guide for GarageBand. We're going to take this template and we're going to use that to set up the Persona Studio One. So let's go over to Studio One. So here we go with Studio One. I opened it and we have this here, a Studio One artist. I have artists uh, connected, uh, installed on my laptop. I do have professional in the big boy studio. So as you can see, once you open it up, the interface is saying that it is, uh, it's using just the built in. So we want to change that. So the first thing you do is you go to your playback device. Um, you select Rodecaster Pro Stereo. And then in your recording device, you select Rode Procaster Multi-Channel. And then you hit OK. And let's create a new song. And everything is good here. 48K, 24-bit. Sounds fine to me. So now what we want to do is we want to go in and set up the I.O. So here we go. So if you go into your song setup, you'll see that the I.O. is only recognizing a stereo track and two mono tracks. So what we want to do is we want to blow that away. So let's go delete. And then we want to add. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the stereo mix track. Well, we're just going to, you can go add stereo or mono here, but let's go add just for, just to show you exactly how it works. So we're going to go, we're going to call that stereo mix and we're going to make that stereo. And then we hit okay. Now what we want to do is we want to set up for mono tracks, that's going to be for your microphones. So let's go add, let's go mic, and let's go mono four, hit OK, and then there you have it. So we're going to add another track here. Um, that will be the four other stereo tracks, which will be for your um, your sound pads, Bluetooth in terms of if you had a phone call coming in, you can use Bluetooth or you can connect your phone using a 3.5 millimeter jack right into the Procaster, uh, the Rodecaster Pro. So let's go stereo here. We want four. And there you have it. So as you can see here, 14 tracks, everything is good. We have the four stereo down here. We have four mics here, and then we have the stereo mix. Let's hit OK. So now let's go and let's create a track here. So we're going to go stereo. And so there's the stereo mix right there. Um, and let's add some mono tracks here. We're going to add track here. Let's add another one. And another one. Another one. I'm sorry for doing it this way, but... Um, you know, I, I'm just explaining everything to you. So, and then let's go into some uh, stereo tracks. One, that would be two, three, and then four. So now what I want to do is just so I'll know exactly what's going on, I want to rename them. So I have stereo track, I have mic one. Uh, we're going to call this mic two. We're going to call this mic three. We're going to call this mic 
four. And so what I'm doing is I'm actually um, selecting the tracks and um, also just configuring them to a specific mic. So as you can see here, we have mic one, two, three, and four. Now we have stereo track here. So what we want to do is we want to come back down here to input one, which is stereo, but it's the USB. Now the USB will give you the ability to record. Um, if you plug up your Rodecaster Pro to your laptop like this one is, um, and they do provide um, a USB-C type to USB-A, um, then you can record music right into it, you know, if you just wanted some background music while you're talking. Um, so we're going to call this, we're going to actually rename this as well. Um, and then we're going to go down here. We're going to do TRRS. That's tip ring ring sleeve. That's basically a 3.5 millimeter. So that's something you would add to your phone. Um, we're going to do Bluetooth. Obviously, if you just wanted to connect your phone via Bluetooth and receive calls, you can do it that way as well. And then the sound pads. Um, and there you have it right there. Let's go. There we go there. So now we want to arm the tracks. I've actually created a template. One thing you should do here is once you've created this, you should then save it as a template. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to blow this away here. Um, let's go close. No. And then I'm going to go create. And so over here, my user, I use the templates. As you can see, I have the Rode Caster Pro multi-channel setup. So if I go here, you'll see how everything is set up. So I have stereo mix, mic one, mic two, mic three, four, USB, TRRS, Bluetooth, and sound pad. And obviously you need to um, arm the tracks to get the recording. So if I um, arm that track, you see it's hot. Everything is coming in. I'm on mic one. And then I'm going to do the sound pad as well. So if you see something like on a sound pad, let's go here. There you go. You see now we have some sound coming in and we have these other cheesy sounds. But it records. I'm going to hit record now. So everything is coming in. As you can see, it's nice and hot. Uh, well, not hot, but it's coming in and everything is looking good. And that is pretty much it. Um, th the reason why I like doing this opposed to using it in GarageBand is because then I can use some of the awesome effects um, from uh, Persona Studio One. Um, obviously, I have um, all of the effects on within the um, Rodecaster Pro, and they're pretty good. I mean, I do have some issues with the gate. Is um, the, the gate is a little bit aggressive, but you can still go in and do some tweaking, not a whole bunch of tweaking. And that's why um, I like to sort of just use it inside of uh, Studio One, because if I wanted to add a gate, I can, a channel strip, anything like that. And as you can see, it's still recording. So, um, and this is, you know, this is pretty cool. And let's, let's put some more, uh, let's put something here from the sound pad. And as you can see, there you go. Um, we have some sound coming in from the sound pad. And we're just going to stop it here. And that's really it. And so this is just a quick video just to show you how. Now, I do want to say that if you wanted to save this as a template, you would go down to file and then save as a template. And then you would give it a name. You can obviously give it um, artwork. And then um, if you hit OK, it'll tell you where it's going. Um, and then if I wanted to go back here and go to new, um, I want to save this here. As you can see, there is the one I just created, but I'm not going to open that one right there. Again, this is just a quick video as to how to set up your I.O. with Studio One using a Rodecaster Pro. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and there you have it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Peace.